The world we live in the fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Everybody, did you miss the in Vietnam? How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the world and situation related to. You know? Intonation. Pronunciation related to standard formulation or construction of any particular word. Each letter which is given in the little word has its own function or use, and the correct pronunciation is a result. <coughs> On the other hand, related ready to talk or Note of the word can add deeper meaning and extra shape to the word. In many ways, intonation is just as important as the way the word is pronounced. <laughs> Listen carefully for follow example. I'm so happy to meet you. What is wrong with the sentence? The pronunciation is perfect, but the intonation is not. The word is are positive, but the tone of the word are flat and they make the whole sentence sound negative. It should be. I'm so happy to meet you. That is a simple way showing the importance of intonation within the English language. Here is another example. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that your bike was stolen. Do you think the sentence is correct? Once again, the pronunciation is perfect, but the intonation is not. In this sentence, I will sound serious and even a little sad because I know it's only a person that I feel their pain. I'm sorry to hear that your bike was stolen. That's better. <laughs> of course, sometimes the positive positive sentence <laughs> is a negative way. For example, imagine I was late for work and I just just missed my bus. I feel annoyed, a little angry. I say, Oh, that's great. The sentence should be a positive one, but my intonation is negative. But it's also, you know, I'm actually annoyed because you were late for work. <laughs> How? Oh, here's another example. My friend has just won ten thousand pounds on the lottery. After they tell me the news, I reply, Oh, you are so lucky. Congratulations. Did you think I'm happy to hear the news? The words are positive, but listen closely to my intonation. Oh, you are so lucky. Congratulations. You think I perhaps I could be a little jealous, resentful, or envious on hearing the news. So, speaking a little correctly, not that I have the imagined word correctly, but also make sure to say what you mean and you mean what you say. Thank you for joining my global class. You miss me in Vienna saying, I hope you enjoy me next time and thanks a bundle for watching. Bye bye for now.